I'm generally very skeptical about these types of videos and the main reason is that you can't really change the past and I'm a strong believer that whatever was done was done for a reason and for better or worse it made us who we are today so I don't usually regret stuff or I don't usually wish I could change something or whatever right uh, however uh, a few days ago I was talking with a friend and I realized that I would actually like to let my younger self know something and before I tell you the story about that I want to mention that this is something that potentially applies only to younger people and I could even say children, teenagers, uh, people who have no responsibilities at their starting point. So that only piece of advice or whatever that I really would like my younger self to know is not work for money, which may sound weird, but let me explain. So my, I got my first software engineering job when I was 15. It was pretty funny and I was, I really liked it. I liked doing software engineering or development or coding or whatever, right? Um, but even back then, uh, I was adopting that decision. I wasn't really sure that I do want to work for a company and get paid for that. The thing I really wanted to do is enjoy, enjoy software development because it was kind of, a very big part of my life and it gradually only increases and the importance of software like the idea of software not necessarily just development or coding is becoming more and more important and emotional for me so yeah uh, back then it, it it's kind of a very great story one could say uh, because the the guy that referred me to to my first workplace and was actually encouraging me to go work for them or with them uh, was a friend of mine who was previously a programming course tutor um, and I went to his course where I was just watching a Udemy course on Flutter and the thing the best thing about that course was that uh, they had like uh, in this building they had all these computers with Intel i3s I believe and 8 gigs of RAM but my laptop was only had only 4 gigs of RAM which wasn't well enough for Flutter development or any kind of mobile development because well you need to run an emulator or if you are using a physical device then you have some more chances of like being fine with that, but still a very bad experience overall. You can't have a browser and, you know, an ID running at the same time, especially if we're talking about something like Android Studio, even though I never really used it, I never really liked it. Um, there were times when I even really hated it, but yeah, it's in the past. I don't really hate anything anymore, generally. Anyways, um, I'd really like to tell my younger self to, to not take that job and try to build some products instead and try to monetize them somehow, try to make indie apps instead. Well, that's something that I'm trying to do now, but the thing about back when I was a child and now the difference is I now have responsibilities and I didn't have them back then, which which was kind of cool because that meant that I was open to do whatever I wanted to without really worrying about money. Um, unfortunately, that's not true anymore because, you know, I need to pay bills, rent, etc. And I can't just drop everything and say like, 
all right i'm gonna go in there now because that's what i want to do well it doesn't really work that way even though i'm still kind of doing something like that currently uh and yeah but it's it's a bit different because right now i'm focused on making lots of money at, at one time i guess by building a startup with with some friends um but what i was talking about referring to my younger self was actually making in the apps not startups and there is a big difference between those two for example when you are working on in the app you don't really want to have a back end you don't really want to do anything super complex all you want to focus on is is an idea that kind of makes you think about it a lot which may sound weird and frankly it is but also it is what it is right and the reason i'm recording this video is because i believe there are many people who are in kind of the same situation where they are still teenagers they still don't have any financial responsibilities but still want to work maybe to become financially independent which i totally understand and it's cool to be independent i i was really enjoying like getting paid getting a monthly salary or whatever but now looking back i could have lived without that and yeah uh, there were some things that were holding me back for example my laptop was a very you know bad one uh, i would say it i couldn't really do as much as i wanted with it but it was fixable i could ask my mom for some money to buy a macbook and yeah she would like happily support me in that because that's what she always does and thank you mom um <laughs> uh, yeah but i still believe that i'm very happy with the way things are today well not particularly today i'm not saying that this is the life i want to live or this is the lifestyle i want to have but i'm getting there and i'm trying to make it work i'm trying to be independent mostly financially because once i'm financially independent then i can focus on whatever i want to do which is build small apps that are just fun and you know kind of have have a soul because software is is why i live one could say which which may sound weird but i believe it's true at least to some extent it's it's kind of the only thing that i'm that much passionate about i tried making music uh i wouldn't say i failed at it i wouldn't say i was great but we have uh, several songs that are super cool in my opinion and i do like them and i do listen to them from time to time and that was my initial motivation for like writing lyrics and singing and convincing my brother to start a band or do or whatever together to just be able to listen to to the things i want to listen to that don't exist yet i wonder if ai is going to replace that thing someday but i don't think so uh i don't think that generally all this ai models are going to become so good at being human yeah so yeah i would say just make more in the apps just make more apps and i definitely didn't have the technical knowledge i have now i didn't have even the passion about software i have now i was passionate about coding i was passionate about development uh i was more into all the you know clean code kind of stuff i really 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 liked linux and i was messing around with all that a lot but i wasn't building apps uh, i wasn't trying to be an indie developer right but i should have maybe i should have uh or maybe not <laughs> anyways yeah this is a weird video i do understand that but yeah thank you for watching peace